Building off of step one and this part, step two, we're going to focus on starting your story from scratch, but using the artwork that you've drawn over the years. Likely you have a vague concept that you've been drawing for years, and now you're finally ready to take on telling the story. And it doesn't matter what the story is evolving from, it could be characters, settings, weapons, or even abstract concepts. What matters is telling a story you can be proud of. At first, this might seem to be overwhelming because your artwork is so near and dear to your heart, and maybe you're confused as to where to start. Probably you've been drawing concepts, scenes, and characters from this world, or maybe you have multiple worlds. Likely, the hardest thing is processing the overwhelming amount of information that you have to sort through. Multiple characters with different storylines and wants, and now you need to make that story cohesive. My advice would be to focus on the concept that intrigues you the most. What do you have the most fun drawing? If it's a character, then work on fleshing out their main purpose. Get to know the character and determine who they are. Look at the character's design. Evaluate it. What does this design reveal to you? Ask things like, is their outfit a reflection of the character's personality? Does the design reveal the location that they live? Is it summer or winter? Are they wearing a culturally specific outfit? Or maybe their clothes reveal their occupation. As you study the design, the information will help you to make an informed choice. If your character is wearing a puffer jacket and camo gear, you could infer that maybe they're a soldier stationed in a winter environment. Then, look at the character's expression. This could reveal a lot about their personality. What expressions do you find yourself drawing on the character? It can be very surprising what a character's expression can reveal, and sometimes it helps us to develop the character's personality even more. For example, I had a character who was more or less indifferent in a lot of the previous drawings, but after working on his expression sheet, I discovered that he was most definitely a villain. Doing little things like looking at personality tests, working on expression sheets, and studying the outfit can help us to understand the story even better. But what if you're developing the story from an environment concept? I feel this is likely more challenging because basically it's just world building but from an illustration. If your illustration is based off of something specific like a time period, then research that error. However, if your illustration is in the sci-fi or fantasy genre, then focus on the essentials. In my opinion, the best roles are the ones that we, the reader, can understand easily and relate to. What type of environment does the illustration reveal? Is it underwater? Does this mean the story has mermaids or fishmen or aquatic creatures? Or is the environment set in the sky? Are there floating islands? Do the species have wings? Next, for me, personally, whenever world building, I always like to consider the world's history. How did things come to be the way they are? Looking at the illustration, ask yourself, what is the mood of the story? Is it peaceful or sorrowful? Is this illustration of the past, present, or future? If it's the future, then this can help us to determine the goal of the story. If it's the present, then this is the environment that our characters live in. If it's the past, it could be used as history or mythology. Next, weapons, accessories, and whatever else falls into this category. Stories that focus on objects are nothing to scoff at. So don't let those fun designs just go to waste. Think about series like Bleach, Guilty Crown, and even Game of Thrones all focus on objects and were extremely successful. The first thing you need is to answer why is the object important? Is it a mythical weapon like Excalibur that will aid your hero in defeating the big bad of the story? Is it a mystic relic that can heal like the Fountain of Youth? Or is it just simply valuable? Maybe it's a priceless object worth more than all the diamonds in the world combined that your character must steal. So now, to get to our last point, abstract illustrations. 
So this is hard for me to comment on because I'm not an abstract person and I don't have a very outside of the box mindset. So for this, the only thing I could suggest is focusing on the feelings and emotions that went into making the piece and then selecting a theme and a genre for your story. This is the end of step two. I like to add that you can start with either step one, writing, or step two, art. However, I would complete both steps before moving on to step three, which will be expanding characters and plot into an actual story. Our question to the community, tell us what inspired your webtoon idea. Please like, comment, subscribe, huge shout out to our patrons, and we will catch you in our next video.